Hello everybody and in today's video we're going to be doing Booster X versus Risen Tweaks. I've never actually heard of this um, tweak before but supposedly it is very good from what I've seen. Like always I'm on a 10700F 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 3000 megahertz and I'm on a 1660 Super. For the pricing of these utilities this is actually probably the most affordable utility I've ever seen. It's only $25 for a lifetime, or you could get it for one month for literally four bucks. That's like insane. Or one year for 20. Uh so and then Risen Tweaks Extreme is gonna be $30. But if you just go to Hydra at checkout on all products, you can save 15% off. So from the base price is $30, it's $25. This is cheaper. So we will keep that in mind. But Let's go ahead and showcase these utilities and then we will get down to which utility you should actually buy. All right, I've just installed a fresh OS and I have the Booster X app right here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's really like any other globalized, good looking app. You know, it has all the crap that you would need. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can import profiles of tweaks from computer to computer. Fixes. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with this. This looks uh, really nice. I like how this looks. Oh, that's cool. All right, yeah. I mean, nothing too special. You've seen type of thing like this before, and uh, I'm excited to use it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and showcase our extreme panel, and then uh, we'll get on to our tests. All right, here we have the extreme panel. We have our Windows optimizations, and you can read all this stuff if you would like, but it has basically everything you would need. Network optimizations, this has killed every tweak before, and I believe it is probably the best I've ever seen from any, or it is most definitely the best I've seen from any utility. Our dbloat, this is also the best I've seen from any utility. We have our GPU optimizations, and some extra settings, and stuff like that, like priority, data queue size, mouse and keyboard, priority, all this stuff. Um, but that is it for the extreme panel. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with our test and we should see what utility you should actually buy or use. Our stock OS had a process count of 152. The Booster X tweaks had a process count of 73, which I think is super good, especially for me being able to get this utility for free for one day, basically trying it out with all the pro features. And then Risen Tweaks had a process count of 58 with giving Risen Tweaks the win for this category. Our stock buffer bloat test received a grade of an F. Uh, I do have bad internet. Our booster X buffer bloat test received a grade of an F. This is unfortunate and it is a trend with these utilities that they don't really do tweaks that would benefit your actual in-game latency from your internet. So our buffer bloat score has stayed the same. And on our Risen Tweaked OS, our buffer bloat score went from an F to an A+, showing how much ethernet tweaks really do help your in-game latency. But with that being that, Risen Tweaks is the winner for the buffer load test category. On our stock OS, our average process latency was 6.05, and our average DPC latency was 3.71. On our Booster X tweaked OS, our average process latency was 5.33, and our average DPC latency was 3.15. On our Risen Tweaked OS, our average process latency was 2.51, with our average DPC latency being 1.05, given Risen Tweaks the win in the latency test category. And here we see our FPS tests, and on top we do have Risen, with Booster X trailing behind, and then our stock, obviously. So we can see our we had a 336 average on the Risen, a 240 on the 1% lows, and 180 on the 0.1% lows. Um, I'm not necessarily disappointed with booster x but obviously i would rather just spend the extra five dollars to the extreme you can see right here in our results it is worth it um however booster x did have a promotion going on or i don't know what it was but i got to actually use it for free i got all the pro features for one day for free so that was nice so if you don't have any money uh, i would i think booster x is easily the best free ut ut utility that's out for one day so you can use that if you like but the test speak for themselves and risen tweaks is the winner for this video all right my final thoughts for this test was obviously that risen tweaks the winner 
But I do want to say something very important. I know I have mentioned this before, but I was actually able to use Booster X and all of its pro features that you have to pay for. I got to use it for absolutely free. All I had to do is join their Discord and they gave you a one day key. Um, and it's all automated. You don't have to wait for them or anything. So I think that's super cool. And for me, technically getting this for free, I'm not disappointed with the results at all from a free utility. Like if you don't have any money, I would literally I'm recommending you to go to this utility booster X. If you don't have any money, go use it. It is so much better than nothing or some of these free tweaks that come from YouTube videos. But if I were to spend the $25 for a lifetime, um I I might have been a little disappointed. It would have just been like another average one of these videos, but I got it for free and I think it's awesome that they do that. So I'm 100% recommending this if you don't have any money. However, if you do have the money and you are willing to spend it, I would say that you should go spend it on Arisen Tweaks and you are just going to have the best FPS increase that you're going to get. But that's going to wrap it up for this test. Arisen Tweaks has come out on top once again. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you use code HYDRA at checkout for 15% off any product from ArisenTweaks.com.